I have no idea what's going on there. So, uh, back to the riverside. One thing is that I can't, I think, lose count now, because if it's an odd number, it means I'm coming from the south bank to the north, and if it's an even number, I'm going from the north bank to the south. Flip video's playing up as well now. Be good to run this, eh? Let's see how many photographs I can get in the way of. Oh my god. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Going too slow to even measure a pace on the Garmin. I'm in the road. I'm going to get off the road. I'm going to get back on the pavement. Thinning out a bit. So that was bridge number eight, Westminster Bridge. I'm now going under it on the south bank. Surprisingly few people here. So this is bridge number nine, Lambeth Bridge. So I'm back on the north bank, Lambeth Bridge is behind me. Uh, so that was nine bridges, so in theory that's probably about halfway. However, I've not gone halfway in terms of distance, I've only gone just short of six miles yet. Um, and I suspect that it's because the bridges are further apart the further west you go. I6 is over there, look, the other side of the river. This is Vauxhall Bridge, I believe. Oh yeah, it says Vauxhall Bridge on it. And it's got some scary looking uh, weeping angel things on the side of it. Don't blink. Okay, I'm coming on to bridge number 10, Vauxhall Bridge. It is blowing an absolute bloody gale now. So I imagine this is all going to be subtitled from here on, I would have thought. power station. There is a bridge over there but it looks like it's a rail bridge. So I'm not sure where I will be crossing. Possibly at Battersea Park rather than going in Battersea Park I imagine. Turn the camera over that one. So it's not really Thames side at the minute. Going through by Battersea power station which they're currently renovating for it looks like the next six years. Interestingly enough though I'm coming on to this side by Battersea Dogs and Cats Home. You see that? Dogs and cats living in perfect harmony. Probably. I feel a poem coming on. Okay, coming on to bridge number 11 now, which is Chelsea Bridge. just on eight miles. Thames is looking very full. It's tight, of course, up to uh, 20 miles. North Bank, 
over on the south bank. That is Battersea Park over there, can you see it? It's Battersea Peace Pagoda. It must be working, there have been very few wars in Battersea Park since that was constructed. It's then bridge number 12. This is the Albert Bridge. Very graceful this one, I like this one a lot. Okay, very very quickly I got from the 12th bridge which was Albert Bridge and I'm now on the 13th bridge which is Battersea Bridge. It's the one with a lot of uh, these old street lighting things. Okay, I am back on the North Bank uh, and I'm in Chelsea. One slight shame about being at this side of the river at this point is that I miss going by that church over there which I always like very much sort of in amongst all those tower blocks and things very sort of New Englandy looking church this place is absolutely full of blue plaques on the houses Sylvia Pankhurst there which went by Hilaire Belloc's house somebody called John Tweed uh, and Walter Greaves uh, it's absolutely littered with famous artists and writers and scholars and things, they all lived here. And I think that community is in the houseboats. Okay, slightly confusing here. But, uh, okay, this has got getting lost in rich people's housing written all over it. Uh, that looks rivery. That looks rivery over there. Let's go for it. Not sure if this was the right way, but there's the there's the church over the way. Well, somehow I got out of that, and now another bridge, but it's a railway bridge, so it doesn't count for what I'm doing. Uh, I'm still on the North Bank, uh, now apparently in Fulham, so it just shows how little I understand football, because you would think Chelsea and Fulham are right next to each other, you would think they'd be really enthusiastic about each other's teams, wouldn't you, that cheer each other on, you know, you're virtually the same thing. Okay, this is Wandsworth Bridge, at last I'm at bridge number 14. That took ages. Still got across the road to get on this bit of bridge. But at last I'll be back on the South Bank. That was miles. I'm also on now well, nearly 11 and a half miles. And by 10 miles, cutting the Thames Path, I should have been at Putney. And I've still got one or two miles to go to get to Putney, so it is going to come out much longer than the Thames Path book said. OK, I'm just short of 12 miles at the moment, uh, back on the south bank. Up ahead I've got Putney Rail Bridge, and I think that's another one with a pedestrian thing attached. And then there's Putney Road Bridge behind that, so I think I might have missed at least one of those out as well when I was doing this planning. Uh, but that's OK, I think there are just three more bridges to go, by the looks of it then. Uh, so far, my knees hurt, especially my right knee, it's killing me at the minute. Uh, my feet sort of hurt, especially my right foot, so this is giving me a bit of a limp on that side. Uh, got a bit of chafing, uh, and I'm naked, but I'm loving it. Yes, as I thought, there's a pedestrian walkway on the railway bridge. I think it's a tube, actually, at Putney. Uh, so, 
this makes bridge number 15. Going from south to north again. So very soon I just go straight back over the river being a completist. And that pub looked lovely. Okay, we're coming on to bridge number 16. So this is Putney Bridge, the 16th bridge. We're back to sort of genteel Thames a bit. This is where rowing Thames starts really. So this marks the point where the uh, Thames path now goes from the pavement back there to this sort of off-road bit. First sign of rural. Okay, that is bridge number 17, Hammersmith Bridge, and the last one for today. Bit of a duck here. It's the last one. Okay, just coming up to 15 and a 